So how do we create a so-called chart of accounts in SAP? We navigate to the transaction code OB13. That's OB13. And over here you can already see, as always, SAP delivered a lot of standard chart of accounts that we can utilize for our purposes. So what we do is that we select one of those chart of accounts, for instance this one for Belgium, and then we say copy as, as always. And we are forwarded to the following page. First of all, the chart of accounts is defined at client level and assigned to each of the company codes. And the chart of accounts itself lists all of our general ledger accounts master data that will fall under different account groups of a company code. And basically we have three chart of accounts. So we have the operational chart of accounts, which is used for our daily postings. We have the group chart of accounts. We will talk about this in a second. And we have the country chart of accounts, which is basically a chart of accounts to meet country specific legal requirements. Yeah, and as you can see over here, first of all, a chart of accounts has a four digit alphanumeric key. So let me just default it, ABC1 for instance, and the description. The description can be up to 50 characters. So let me just say chart of accounts, test for now. Then we have here an area called general specifications. There we have first of all the maintenance language and all of our general ledger accounts will have a description in this language. So master data can only be displayed or maintained in this particular language we set over here. Then, this is quite important, we have the length of the GL accounts. So whatever we define over here will influence the number of characters our general ledger accounts can have. So for instance, 8 means that our GL accounts can be 8 characters long at max. And this is up to, we could set it up to 10 actually. And by the way, the general ledger accounts could consist only of numbers or could also be alphanumeric as well. Then we have another important parameter called integration or to be precise controlling integration. As we have already seen in my video about the cost elements, for each and every GIL account, which is an expense and revenue account, we create cost elements in the system. And this creation can be manual as I've shown you last time. So we would manually create the cost elements according to the GL accounts. And they would for sure have the same number as the respective GL account. Or we can set it to automatic creation of cost elements over here, which would be the indicator number two. Meaning that when we save a new general ledger account, the related cost element is created automatically. But therefore, we also need to set in customizing a default value for the cost element category, which is one of the parameters in the cost element. And this is also something I will show you in another session. Then we have here the consolidation, so the group chart of accounts. And basically, a group chart of accounts would help to generate reports at a corporate level. In the end, even this account here could be a group chart of accounts and then assigned to other chart of accounts. So the process for creating a group chart of accounts is exactly the same as what we are doing right now. But let's imagine I created a chart of accounts ABC1, like this one over here, and then another one ABC2. And if I want to use ABC2 as the group chart of accounts, I would insert it over here and assign it to various other chart of accounts. And then there is the status blocked indicator over here. So when we set it, no general ledger accounts can be created for this chart of accounts. Yeah, and then all you need to do is click on the save button and then your chart of accounts will be created. However, right now we only specified the length of the GL account number. We also must specify in what range GL accounts, so general ledger accounts, can be created. And this is done via the so-called account group and via transaction code slash n o b d four. That's slash n o b d four. And as you can see over here, this is already defined in my system. But what we would do is the following: for our chart of accounts that we created, we create 
those account groups you can see over here. And in the end, the account group then determines what number the general ledger account will receive. However, as you can see over here, we can assign one to n account groups to one chart of accounts. And those account groups here, we could say, for instance, that the asset accounts go from 1000 to, let's say, 9999. And then the balance sheet accounts go from 1 million up to 2 million and so on. I think you get the idea. Later on, when creating the general ledger accounts within the parameters of the general ledger accounts, we would assign this account group and then the number would be yeah, issued by the system once we save the GL accounts. So basically that's it. So we create first of all the chart of accounts and then we create our account groups and specify the number ranges. If we want to create a new one, I could say here, let's say the CABE, I would click on new entries, for instance, provide it over here. Then I provide a new account group, which is by the way, four digit key and alphanumeric. So let's say ABC one, for instance, this is a test and then I would just assign my numbers. So just a summary, we now created the chart of accounts and also the account groups for the chart of accounts. What is missing is the assignment of the chart of accounts to our company codes, which is done via transaction code slash N OB62. That's OB62. And over here you can see for our company codes, we can now assign the chart of accounts over here and also the country chart of accounts if required. And quite important is that for sure multiple company codes can be assigned to one and the same chart of accounts. However, a company code cannot be assigned to multiple chart of accounts simultaneously, at least not to multiple operational chart of accounts. Because as I said before, we can assign in the end the normal operational chart of accounts as well as the local, so country specific chart of accounts.